99% of all business people learn foreign languages incorrectly. And because of poor foreign language skills, companies lose billions every year. Every day we see situations in business where employees embarrass themselves with inadequate language skills. In the worst case, this can even harm the company because something is misunderstood or expressed in a misleading way. But why do so many business people have problems with foreign languages? Everyone learns foreign languages at school. Most managers have already learned two languages by the time they graduate from high school, and some have even been abroad. But they still fail in everyday business life. The reasons for this are complex and lie in a fundamentally wrong learning culture. We are trained to learn only until the next vocabulary or grammar test. As adults, we then have to pass the next exam or acquire the language certificate. But hardly anyone has learned how to continuously improve their language skills so that they can communicate more eloquently and professionally. People are content to have reached a certain level, and from that point on they let their language skills atrophy. This also applies to foreign employees who need to learn English. After passing the exam, English is not practiced further and soon one loses aplomb. What can you do about it now? First of all, it is important not to learn the grammar by heart, but to internalize it intuitively. If you have to actively think about whether you are using the grammar correctly when you speak, you have learned it incorrectly. Vocabulary should not be crammed, nor should it be learned one at a time. It is much more sensible and, above all, logical to learn vocabulary in such a way that it is stored directly in the long-term memory and linked directly to a sentence tailored to personal needs. In addition, from the very first lesson of foreign language learning, the inhibition to speak must be eliminated or its development completely avoided. If you then acquire idioms and the corresponding cultural understanding, nothing stands in the way of speaking confidently in a foreign language in business. On the contrary, once you have internalized the right learning method, optimizing your language skills takes on a momentum of its own and you automatically improve with each subsequent conversation. The point soon comes when you belong to the group of 1% who secure a place of honor in the memory of international business partners through sound language skills. As a logical consequence, one then learns the next foreign language with the same efficiency, because with each additional language, not only does the learning of new languages become much easier, but also the competence in the previous languages is intensified even further. So, to sum up, it doesn't matter whether someone has a talent for languages or how much time they end up spending learning. The only thing that determines success or failure in learning a foreign language is technique. If the right technique is combined with a desire for constant improvement, nothing stands in the way of success on the international stage. If you would like to know what this path could look like for you, then contact the Speed Learning Academy.